How's it going everyone? The other night, working at my girlfriend's house, and I hopped on Facebook, opened up Marketplace, and there was a doodle bug the next town over from me for sale for 500 bucks. Uh, the ad said 1920 Model T doodle bug, but what stood out to me was the grill shell. It had this grill shell on it. And I think you guys know what that is. It's missing a few bars, but it's got the original horse collar on it, the bezel, the original porcelain. It's got the original insert, the, the, the chrome insert or the st old stainless insert. And I cut that off yesterday. Had a 1930-31 hood on it that looked like a tree or something came down on it. So I'm going to run that through the English wheel. <laughs> it's it's pretty potato chipped, but I'm going to try to try to straighten it up a little bit. It had a coil mount off the side of it. I was going to mock it all back up, put the hood on and the grill shell, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's really cold this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to salvage some other parts. So I got the grill shell, the the, the hood. That's a 32 Model B radiator, so that's good to hang on to. I'm going to pull off the front bumper and the brackets. If I can get this splash pan off, I'm going to. The motor's stuck, but I am going to pull off the four blade fan because a lot of guys like those. But I'm going to pull this firewall off. Uh, tie rod. May, may try to snag some of these fuel rods. Take a couple of these fuel rods off. These are always nice to have. Good swap meet stuff. The dash rail is kind of beat up. There's really not a whole lot on the thing. I mean, there might be somebody out there that is interested in trying to revive it, but like I said, this thing, from, from what the gentleman told me, he, he saved it. He went to the lady's house to buy a wood stove and ended up seeing this in the backyard. Didn't know what it was, but he had high hopes that he could get it running, but he, what he ended up doing ultimately was just buying it and flipping it. So he made a couple of bucks. I didn't pay his asking price. I ended up getting it for 400. Um, I got a kid who already wants the hood if I can kind of straighten it out. Like I said, I'm gonna see what I can salvage from it and anything I can get from it and sell comes off the 400, which is essentially what I paid for that grill shell. So I already started cutting the bolts on the front bumper. I guess I'll try to cut the bolt on the drag link and pop the whole drag link off, but I'm just gonna cut the steering arm on this side over here on the front, and then the same thing to get to my tie rod. Ted is spending all the time trying to unbolt things. I wanna save these ends and save the tie rod itself. The difference in thickness on this double A tie rod. This right here, as you can see, the standard thickness of an average tie rod for a Model A, regular smaller vehicle. Look at the difference in thickness. You can see it where it jumps up right here. It's massive. It's a really good hot rod part. So if you ever get a chance to pick pieces off of a double A truck, grab what you can. Because they don't make this stuff anymore. There'll be some things I'm going to remove a little less barbaric like the, like the fan. So I'm going to cut this gas tube off. This is probably for a heater. Came off the back of the... Uh, actually, no, that's an intake. Yeah, it still might have been. I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. Talking out my butt. I don't know what this would have been. 
loose, whatever it is. Nope, it's going. Fuel line, I'm gonna try to save that old pop of fuel line. That's pretty cool. I'm hoping that's gonna come out, but I brought my torch just to be safe. Beautiful. This little fitting is brass. It would just look really cool on an old hot rod, like a trog style car. This is old copper line. You know, there are certain things that they still make, but if you like me, you want the old stuff. <laughs> There's a fitting here and then another fitting here, so I'd like to get both of them off. I'm going to take this one off first to make sure I can separate them. And then take this one off hopefully afterwards. Actually, I'll probably leave that one on, leave it on the carburetor. I'll pull the whole carb off. Came off like nothing. Beautiful. Love it. That is just a cool old piece right there. You know, someone hand built that probably decades ago. Look at the old brass screws. All right, power is off. All right, what's next? Keeping myself covered up because I just, I don't like the cold. I live in the wrong part of the country, let's put it that way. Come on, come on. Hey, right, got it. All right, so I'm just gonna remove it from this nut. It's a pain in the butt to remove all those. When I'm, I'm just gonna probably toss that, toss that water pump anyways. Yeah, that was easier. Isn't it amazing? All this stuff still comes apart. Very little effort. Here we go. So a lot of guys use these on their banger motors because the other ones. The other fan blades that came on these cards were a two blade, so they call it a propeller, the airplane, airplane fan or propeller fan. This one being the four blade, it just has a lot better uh, cooling capabilities. So this is what I have so far. Splash apron, front bumper with the brackets, good for someone. Die rod, pitman arm, drag link, fan, 32 grill shell, 30. 32 four cylinder radiator and the hood with the footrest throttle linkage one little piece carburetor fuel line and I'm gonna take off the gas tank cowl band too bad it wasn't chrome on uh, firewall I think after that, she's uh, gonna go for a ride. Uh, let me just take these little lights off. Those are good swap meet things to, to pass along to people. Choke lever. Again, same thing. Good swap meet stuff. Yeah, all right, so let's get, let's get to work. Let's get to work, let's do it. Let's do this. So, I just have this light, and I don't want to cut it because it's still a good light. It's an old guide head, uh, guide lamp. But I don't know how... I don't know how I'm going to get it off without cutting it. Oh! Ha! Ah, that's how! Got this one side screw, and then that's it. My factory wire. 
Matthew went from Matthew to Cindy. She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Well, I love that little girl. Oh, I gotta cut the bolts on the to cut the bolts on the steering column drop. Is that still attached? Let's see if I can get my cutoff wheel in between them. I don't know if I'll be able to pull that out of the sun salt. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Connected to the firewall. Damn it! Look at the steering wheel. Just crumbling. Nothing left to it. Unbelievable. Mother Nature is just a, a violent, violent thing. <laughs> I checked and made sure the battery was disconnected, so don't worry, safety police. I'm on it. It should come off now. Oh, I almost fell. Watch yourself. This thing is heavy. Whew. It's solid like a brick. I can't open it. All right, so I ended up just cutting down the side of the cowl because it's junk anyways. That'll just save me some time from drilling out all these spot welds that are all the way down the side of the firewall. I can do it afterwards. So I'm gonna remove these two straps, cowl supports, and then get some rivets here. A couple of rivets on these Cowl feet, see that foot there? A couple of rivets attaching to the front of the firewall, and then uh, get this firewall off of this thing, too. Well, actually, that's the foot, so the firewall just goes to here. I'll try not to cut that if I don't have to. All right, a little more, a little more. Piles adding up. Like I said, I got the gas tank over here, which Truthfully, I don't really think it's salvageable. I think just the top. Oh my, it is so heavy. I don't know what is in this thing. <laughs> I'll bent that tab. Those are, those are good to have because they usually rot out. Surprisingly enough, that one's not. I'm gonna cut down the side of this, expose the side, and then try to get this removed. And that'll be it.
the vacuum line. Alright, so we got a couple of bolts to cut. That side's completely rotted on the driver's side. Literally nothing left to it. Alright. Almost done. Almost done. I think this is the last bit. Still got a little more on the other side. It's a lot of work salvaging old parts. I'm just trying to make my money back so I can get my grill shell for free. Because that's how you do it with this hobby. You buy parts, keep what you want, and sell what you don't to pay for the ones you did. Yay! Looks a little different now. <laughs> as ugly as it was to begin with, it's hard to believe it's even uglier now. <laughs> Got a fair amount of parts off of it. A couple of little lights, dash rail, bumper, gas tank, splash apron, tie rod, drag link with a pitman arm, 32 radiator, full cylinder radiator. Kind of a junky hood, but full blade fan. Obviously the 32 grill shell. That's the money. Splash open, like I said, and then the uh, firewall. So. so those are some of the parts that you can pull off of one of these old doodle bugs that's been used and abused and left out on a farm. I'm gonna get cleaned up, clean up my tools, organize, throw some stuff up on the trailer and then call it a day, so. So this is my bounty for my $400. Um, I think in the hot world world, most people that are aware of things like this would certainly agree that this is well worth the $400 I paid for it. So, so like I said, it was definitely a, a worthwhile investment. Um, with a little bit of time to remove the bits and pieces that you want, you, you can certainly should be able to I should be able to sell the parts that I don't need to pay for uh, The grill shell is really all I'm planning on keeping besides the grill shell There's really only a few other little things that I'll probably tuck away in my Storage container for for either myself or for friends to use uh, But so this started life off as a Model A truck big truck I can only assume it served its purpose to the people who owned it in the past and it's going to the parts off of it are going to serve a purpose to the people that use them in the future. Day number two working on the doodle bug. It's the wheelie doodle is what I'm calling it because if you notice on the back it has a wheelie bar and it's got slicks so I figure the thing was probably a handful back in the day. It's the wheelie doodle. And I put it up online that I had some parts if anybody wanted them. Uh, I took the parts off that I wanted and a lot of people reached out to me and said, uh, told me what they were interested in. And uh, so now I am in the process of pulling off the undoable, the unthinkable, pulling off the impossible. It's chilly getting cold. Let's see. My bald head's cold, bruh. Bruh. Huh? You been out there hunting mice? This dog absolutely loves mice. You see his ears. The second you say the word mouse or mice, the dog goes bananas. <laughs> Hi, Wessie. Huh? You're a mouse killer, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I don't have anything. I don't have any. But Wessie found in the lower radiator hose a mouse nest. He has been going mental over it. So there must have been 
a mouse living in here at one point. So he's been going bananas, looking all over the place for a mouse. So anyways, we got someone who wanted the steering wheel, well not the wheel, the column, the box, and the pitman arm. We got another guy who wants the distributor, gas pedal, the linkage rods, all of this stuff. So I'm going to pull this off. I think I'm just going to yank the motor at this point. So I think what I'm going to do is pull the motor and transmission, separate it from the rear axle. I don't know as if I'm going to separate the two. Guy that wants the frame rails. So I'm trying to get it as clean as I can. So if the kid comes down this week for the frame rails, it'll be basically, it's a hard tail. As you can see, no suspension. So these guys were riding rough back in the day. You know, there's a real man who built this thing, clearly. I don't know what this was. I guess the brake lever? Yeah, I think that's the brake. Whatever it is, it is well made. A lot of thought. A lot of thought went into that. And like I said, the wheelie bar. I mean, it's clearly bent from doing some pretty unimaginable wheelies. It's just removing some of the doodads, trying to get this thing stripped down as far as I can. So when the kid shows up, he can take whatever he wants, I guess. Like I said, I guess basically the frame rails, he's got to cut the, cut the bolts there, cut off the wheelie bar. I'll probably do that myself. There's probably going to be about five pounds of metal left by the time people come here and pick off of this thing what they want. And I was planning on just getting rid of what's here. Like I had said in the, earlier in the video, I took off what I wanted and I, I didn't think there'd be any interest, but I got a bunch of people who want the wheels. And these are, uh, I think these are from the Dukes of Hazard. The Duke boys used these on the General Lee before. I remember seeing them when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure that's a. What do you think, bud? Was she a runner? Did you get any mice? I don't have one. I, I don't have anything, see? I got I got nothing. You're all dirty, bud. You're all dirty. There's nothing. Yeah, there's, that's grease. That's a greasy bolt. There's nothing. Anything you touch, he'll go to it. Huh. Man, I got some bondage to change. Oh! I'm saving these for another bedroom. Woo! The girl's gonna be happy. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of this old bondage contraption. And, uh. Yeah, just try to start cleaning off this frame. The guy coming down maybe Saturday. He said Friday night, but. I'll be damned if I'm going to be out here Friday night time helping him cut this damn thing up. So I'm going to get as much done as I can now to try to avoid that. Woo! That's one. Oh, loosey goosey. All right, wait a minute. See a bolt. All right, see these bolts here. That's all right. That's that one. Try to get this one now. I'm gonna try to get to it on the outside here without having to cut through a washer. All right, we got one more. gain about pounds of washers once I get this all off and then I never need to buy another washer. Get them all stacked up. He's done. I'll probably break it. Yeah mama! Woo -woo. That is some engineering right there. Look at that. Like someone put some paint on it. Preserved it. 
that's a dollar fifty right there now the guy told me it's coming down to get this frame that he can make a hot rod out of it and I tell you what that remains to be seen so I'm looking forward to him trying in my eyes there are a lot better things to start from than this huge pile of crap if that's what he wants to do that's what he wants to do I'm gonna leave that for him I don't know if he needs it or wants it this spring is sprung its last spring spring its last spring so if I don't finish cutting things up with the battery that's in it now, then I'll finish after. I've had several people come by and pick up parts, and I just want to show you guys what's left of that doodle bug. This is what's left. That's just an old air compressed, like a compressed air tank for portable air. I threw that on here just because I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, this is what's left. I got the front axle off of that big truck. You see the wheels, the front spring, the brakes, and all that. Same goes for the rear. And pretty much that's what's left. I had a guy come and pick up the frame. He took the cowl sides. I actually regret cutting up the cowl. I should have left the cowl just the way it was and just removed the bolts that held it onto the frame. Uh, but I tried to pick off what I could take. And I, like I said, I should have just left the thing complete and just moved it along complete. But that's what's left of the doodle bug. Like I said, I kept the grill shell, the hood. I moved the hood along. I donated it to a friend. Into these cars, he's building an old speedster. So I donated it to him because he needed a hood. And I, something like that. I like, I like helping people out. You know, donating what I can to help people that are looking for stuff. Uh, so I. Donated that, I, I gave away the throttle linkage rods. Uh, I kept a few little things here. Uh, U bolts for the axe, uh, for the front spring, carburetor, which if someone wants that, they could have had that. Uh, dash rail, again, no need for it, but I wanted to hang on to it. Throttle linkage with the mount. Uh, yeah, just a few other little odds and ends that came off of that truck. That's the 32 grill shell that came off of it. Anyways, just wanted to show you, I kept the dash rail, I kept the gas tank, the firewall. Come on, Izzy. Firewall, the gas tank, the grill shell. Sold the frame, sold a bunch of other rods and end pieces and parts off of it. I wanted to just wrap up the end of this video, show you guys what was left of the AA truck, the doodle bug. Uh, back in the shop and organizing, getting things kind of ready to go. Oh, there's Wesley. Where is he? There he comes. Getting things ready to go, figuring out what I have and don't have as far as metal. And uh, just gonna get back to work in the garage on the 34. Gonna finish piecing together that firewall. Come on, Wesley, in the house. Come on, you hungry? Go. It's the only way to get them in the house is to promise them food. <laughs> so I've been back working in the garage today for a little while, just getting things ready to go, organizing, figuring out what I have and what I don't have for material in regards to uh, the structure for the floor and sheet metal. Um, I have an order in with the metal supply yard, and I'm going to pick that metal up. i got a couple sheets of 18 gauge that I had cut in half. And I'll be able to pick that up beginning of next week. I'm just waiting on a phone call from them to tell me when all my metal is ready to go. And then uh, I can get to work on putting the floor in and then just buttoning up a lot of things. So I want to say thank you and also sorry about the New Year's video. Ali and I, you saw us. We were out in the garage. We were all set up, ready to do our thing. And I think it was my mistake where I didn't push. I didn't make the video public. For some reason it said we were live and we were recording 
but I guess I, I don't know if I didn't make it public or it, it's it's kind of backwards from when you edit a video and then you upload it to video, to YouTube the way you do a live video it's it's just a different process and I had never done one and I just wasn't familiar with the process so I appreciate everybody's kind comments and you know a for effort uh, which we had fun doing it it was just us being us so and I'm, I'm certainly grateful that people are interested in just who we are and in our relationship and, and just our dynamic uh, the hot rods and the people and us and it's all intertwined obviously because it just has to be that's the only way life will kind of work so I appreciate that people are uh, enter are entertained by us I guess is the best way to say it so again thank you everybody I hope everybody had a happy a safe new year and we can only go up from here so I am planning on doing some more live videos uh, we'll see what happens I've spent more time on the computer in regards to, to setting up the live videos and there are a lot of things that you can do leading up to the live videos like setting premieres and times and and that was things that I didn't no, I wasn't aware of because I had only done it through my phone uh, because that's how I was shooting the live video was through my phone and I wanted to try to make myself I wanted to familiarize myself with the process through my phone and then when I jumped on my computer I realized there are a lot more things that you can do over the computer on YouTube versus just through the app I think moving forward I'll do more with the computer as far as my live videos go uh, by set, what I mean by that is by setting the premiere and, and times and letting everybody know and then kind of leading up to it. It's like an hour away or 30 minutes away. There's a lot of things you can do leading up to like a live video, which again, I just, I didn't familiarize myself with it. And that's unfortunately was the situation. I think I just missed a few steps. Yeah. Like I said, we still had fun. People still laughed. People still appreciated it. It was just us being us. And uh, we're here to just keep just doing our thing and me especially in the garage working on the car. A uh, few, few people mentioned in the video that they saw a ring on Allie's finger. Uh, yes, it's a ring on Allie's finger, but it's not an engagement ring. Um, it was her birthday on the 28th of December. So I had bought her a ring for her birthday. And it just so happens the only thing, the only finger it fits is a ring finger. <laughs> And she always rubs it in my face. So uh, she says it 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 was her it was my trial run uh, for uh, for a ring. So um, she's a keeper. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie there. She's certainly a keeper, and I and I love her to death and appreciate who she is and what she does. So uh, I'm not gonna let her go. But it was just a birthday gift that's on her finger at the moment. It was pretty funny that people recognized it and they saw it and they said, Hey, there's a ring on her finger. That's new. What's going on? Fill me in. So I got a kick out of it and so did she. So I'm sure she's going to let you guys know that in some upcoming videos. If anyone is interested in purchasing some posters, I do have the Hot Rod posters from Trog 2019. The, the ones where the Hot Rods are lined up. The giveaway poster. Um, I can probably have those printed within a couple of days. Uh, so if there are any other people that are interested in those, please reach out to me. Shoot me an email. I screwed up on the live video on the email. Uh, I kept saying thisoldhotrod.com, but that's the website. So the, the email is thisoldhotrod at gmail.com. Uh, that's the email. So if you're interested in any t-shirts, stickers, or any posters, please shoot me an email and uh, let me know. Uh, my PayPal is thisoldhotrod at gmail.com. It's the same as the email. So if you have a PayPal account, you could do a search for me, this old hot rod. It should come up. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Allie, I know Allie appreciates it, too. She's having fun now that she's a part of the channel. And we appreciate all the comments and the likes and the support. And we hope you guys had a happy new year. And here's to 2021. Good things to come. Thanks, everybody. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.